So one of the questions that I always used to have in my mind when I was pursuing my bachelor's degree was that when I go for my master's degree, should I have some work experience before that? Is it mandatory? Is it needed? Now, in the process of understanding that, I read various blogs. I reached out to various professors. I reached out to various people in the industry as well from my personal connections and people who I did not even know. Some of them responded, most of them did not. But crux of the issue, um, in the end, I now realize what it means to really, you know, have work experience before your program. It's always going to be an asset, but hey, that doesn't mean that it's always needed. And that's what we're going to discuss over here. And the right answer, if I had to give you the short answer, right, is work experience needed for your program? Well, I would say it depends on your program. Okay, I'm gonna tell you some examples that we're gonna be taking over here and I'm gonna be telling you exactly how much work experience you need for some of these, okay? Um, so the first one would be the uh, MS degrees, okay? The second would be MBA degrees, MEM degrees, MIS degrees, and PhD degrees. Now work experience may or may not be needed depending on your degree and I'm gonna show you exactly how in this video. Stay tuned if you, if you think this makes sense to you. All right guys, so the first one that I'm going to talk about over here, and you know, this is not really about the uh, particular degree types that I talked about. That's I'm go that's what I'm going to talk about in the end. But the first thing that I want to talk about is not all work experience is relevant. Okay, not all work experience is good, and you need to understand that if you're going for a particular program and your work experience is completely different from you know, that field of work that may not earn you very good credit points. Of course, you add to the diversity of the curriculum, but if you're going for maybe, let's say, a program in nursing and your work experience appears to be in telecalling, then I'm pretty sure that it would not count towards your program, okay? So you can't really count it as work experience. Also, internship experience cannot be counted as work experience. That's one more thing that I've wanted to clarify for quite a while now so you cannot say that hey you have some work experiences because you did some internships no that does not work like that okay um so when you're talking about work it's not all of it is good it should be the relevant position in the company that you're working secondly it should be the right kind of projects and thirdly you should be handling the relevant responsibilities the right kind of responsibilities for someone who wants to take up that master's program, that PhD program in the future, okay? So that's one thing I want to clear. The second thing is where is the work experience required? Now, this can be classified into, you know, the majority of the fields can be classified like this, I believe for the most of my viewers, um, I would say a lot of them are focused towards the field of engineering. They wanna, they wanna build stuff, they wanna work in the industry, they wanna really get into the technical parts. And if that is you, in that case, the workex is merely good to have. That's it. It's good to have. It'll help you during the interviews. It'll help you land a job when you need it, when you're studying overseas in any country of your choice. Um, but work experience is not required. Let me be very cl clear. For a master's degree in engineering, you know, in computer science, mechanical, civil, whatever you go for, work experience is not a requirement. And that's something that a lot of professors from the academia have, have also confirmed with me. They've said this, that, hey, that, that may be a good idea if you want to go to the industry later on and, you know, settle in this country, maybe, you know, go, uh, basically fetch good jobs. You can have some edge over other people who do not have any work experience. But at the same time, just to enter the university, it's not required, it's not needed. And if your long-term plan is research or academia, you know, don't even bother getting research, ex uh, getting work experience, you know, in the industry, that's not needed at all, okay? The second uh, point would be towards the management degrees. And I would say over here, the work experience is almost mandatory. You cannot do without it, it's needed. And if you don't have it, probably you will not get admitted into the program. And let's say if there's a 1% chance that you somehow get admitted into management programs without any work experience, you will find out that the other people are much, much more, you know, attractive candidates when they sit in front of the interviewer, you know, when you're looking for a job over there. So be ready for that. Okay. Of course, there are exceptions to every rule. Um, in the case of PhD and research, however, see, work experience may or may not be required, but one thing is for sure, research experience is required. Now, this research experience can be from the industry. It can be from some company. Maybe you are in Google Brain. Maybe you are in Microsoft Research. You're doing some research over there. Or it can be from the academia. Maybe you're working under a professor. Maybe you've been a research assistant and you've been doing that for maybe two years. That will count. That will be a very good idea. Okay, so research experience is needed. 
uh, work experience, it's not really, you know, something that is definitely required, but uh, for PhD students or research applicants, you know, uh, you should definitely consider getting some research experience. Okay. Um, finally, we're going to tell you exactly how much work experience should be required for your programs, depending on your degrees. Now, I'm going to take some of those examples that I took at the beginning of this video. I know these are not exhaustive by no means. You know, I, I claim that these are exhaustive. I know there are there are so many more programs that you might be interested in. But um, hey, let's just look at these, and I'm sure this will give you a little more clearer picture you will be able to understand this for your own program, even if it's not covered in these. However, I'm pretty sure it should be. Okay, so the first one is MS programs. In these cases, I would recommend a work experience of zero to two years. Remember, whatever upper limit I give you over here, it's not a limit. It's basically a line which, you know, I would say, is basically says that hey you have more than sufficient experience you ha can have more than that you can have nine ten years of work experience as well that's a good thing but hey i'm saying two years is probably good enough and you will not be removed or basically removed from any university's admission process just because your experience is low in that case okay so uh zero to two years means zero years also works over here um, it's not required that you should have, you know, at least one year, two years. It's not. It's not. Okay, you can have zero years of work experience, and you can get into. I did personally get into USC without any work experience, straight out of college. It works. Trust me, I've verified this, and you're only gonna get the most genuine information on this channel. I promise you that. Okay, the next program, um, and this is also one of the most popular programs out there, the MBA program. And in this case, I would I would say you need a work experience of three to five years. I do not recommend going in, but when I mean three to five years, I do not recommend going in without at least three years of experience. And if you are going in, you know, even after more than five years of experience, that's fine. That's okay. Like I said, the upper limit is not really a limit over here. Okay. So as for MEM programs, Masters in, in Engineering Management, you can say, right? And that's one of the most sought after courses. Remember that these programs are very industry oriented, professional programs. They're meant to guide you towards the industry, take you into the industry, get you a job. And these programs, the length of them is very, very short. Usually they're one to one and a half years long. Typically you will find this for most universities. And this is my experience working with a lot of people. I've seen that for these programs, you need at least two years of work experience. So I would say two to three years of work experience is very, very optimal for MEM applicants because they are not people who will basically train you. See, within one year, they're not going to change everything that you know. But it's a short pathway towards basically, you know, gaining employment in another country, okay? For instance, if it's the US, you can gain, gain the OPT, you can gain the H-1B and stuff like that. So it's really sort of a shorter pathway, you know? Um, and at a cheaper one as well, right? Because you'll be studying for one year only. Um, the other program, which is super popular among applicants right now, is the MIS program, the Masters in Information Systems. Again, I've compared all of these, MIS, MEM, if you've not checked that out, you should definitely go ahead, check that out on my channel. Um, you should know the difference between these and which one works best for you. And I've very clearly explained that, I've, I've, I've given you the outcomes, you know, what you can become after taking these. So be sure to watch that. But MIS programs, I recommend, see, you can have zero to two years of work experience. It's not required that you have work experience, but hey, it will be good to have because in the end, it's not just information systems, a little bit of it kind of collides into management as well, but it's very little, I would say 10% management, 90% you know, technical parts. So remember that you know, zero to two years works over here. If you're applying to MIS, you can apply, you will still get the admissions even if you do not have any work experience. In the case of MEM, you will not get the admissions very, very easily, that's for sure though. Um, and finally, the PhD programs. In this case, I would say you need research experience, you do not need sort of you know industrial experience or work experience that's not required at all i promise you that but research experience of over two years can be as a research assistant can be as a postgraduate researcher anything really if you have research experience you've published some papers that will definitely help you out if you do not know how to do that i made another video on how do you go ahead and you know make and publish a research paper so go ahead and watch that as well so hopefully this gives you some insight into how you really you know understand that for your program whether you will need work experience as well so if i haven't covered a program you know understand that if a program is very very industry oriented it's a short program in length you know one year long one and a half years long they would want you to have work experience okay if it's two year or more uh, two years or more and you know it's a technical program in that case work experience is not really necessary again mba programs and all of that i've already covered that i've given you all the information that i wanted to give over here and i hope that you 
enjoy this video because this is something that I know most applicants do not have clarity about. If you still have some doubts, all you need to do, post them down below and I'll be very happy to answer every single one of you. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to the channel if you love my efforts. And um, yeah, I'll see you soon, hopefully. Have a good day.